Please join me in welcoming the courageous storyteller, Barbara Kingsolver. Please join me in welcoming the brilliant creator and documenter of worlds, Viet Tan Nguyen. Please give a warm Seattle welcome to Van Jones. Put your hands together for Denez Smith. And the shadiest son of a bitch I've ever met. Beat Susan! For all of us, when we are in times that are confusing, there is a hunger for community and story and sense making. And that's what we do at Seattle Arts and Lectures. We provide chances to come together and think and talk and read. And through all of that, we build connections, we build community, we make sense of our world. It's amazing to hear somebody talk about their story instead of like just hearing it. You know, when someone writes, they're writing, but when they talk about it, it's something different. Part of me, though, when I think about being a refugee, thinks it wasn't all bad because it gave me the necessary emotional damage necessary to become a writer. <laughs> Having an opportunity to think critically about our world and to think creatively about our world. I think that's what we need more of and to find ways to have conversation inspired by writers. From fiction to nonfiction, I mean, I think we can find a lot of meaning in stories. And for three years we've been in this perpetual state of upset, this perpetual state of outrage and being triggered and being re-traumatized. I think what's special about Van is in this politically divisive time, he's talking about building bridges. We want to give people tools to understand all the information they get. So there's a great flotsam of information right now. So much stuff is thrown at us. If we're truthful about who we are. This seems like a moment to focus on the free press and journalism. We curated this series of you know, three evenings focusing on journalism and media in different lenses. We're the first line of defense against madness. <laughs> That's how I look at it. Now I'm going to talk about American history uh, from beginning to end, but I promise there'll be no spoilers. Don't worry, it's all going to turn out okay in the end. Um, no, it's, it's not. It's not. Last year alone, we reached over 37,000 adults and kids, and over the last five years, our donors have almost doubled. Because America, a mother should listen to her child. Thank you. Writers in Schools is a program of Seattle Arts and Lectures where we hire professional writers, poets, prose writers, comics writers to go into the public schools throughout the Puget Sound region. If you were a weather, you'd be sunny days with birds chirping. Reading is the fundamental way I think people develop an idea of the world around them and it is a way of developing empathy. Today, I elect Jonathan, 11 and already making roads out of water, young genius, little blog writer, little community activist, curls tight as pinky swears, black as my nation. It's just a great thing to have in Seattle because we have so many dedicated readers. In fact, I believe I have the distinction of being the very first subscriber to Seattle Arts and Lectures 30 years ago. Out of respect for tonight's presenters and your fellow audience members, we ask that you take a moment and please turn off all cellular phones. Thank you. Thank you so much for hosting me. Uh, this is like a little intimidating for me to see people all the way up the top there. There's a special feeling in Seattle, and it's that you can have 2,500 people be in a room together, listening to writers and being interested in writing. I mean, that's special. This was a fantastic crowd. It was lovely to walk out and look into that giant hall, including the peanut gallery and then the peanut peanut gallery all the way up to the Hi. rafters. Hi, people way up there. <laughs> Today may have been my last day working for the Obama administration, but you know what? Hope doesn't quit. The time is now, so why not take a chance? Because you could be the person that finally took that stand. <laughs>